Hey guys, it is me, Heidi Powell, and I have one of my favorite people in the whole world me, right next to me. Chris Powell. For you guys, so we can answer some of your frequently asked questions. Um, I think one of the most often, most frequently asked questions we get is about our relationship and how we met. We actually met at a self-improvement seminar um, of of all places, which is like so appropriate because, you know, sure enough, it, where we met translated into everything that we do in our lives. And so it was just, um, it was almost serendipitous. But uh, I was in a, a, basically I was coming out of a pretty dark time in my life and, and Heidi was, was doing the same. And so it was just, it was a perfect place for us to meet each other, to be completely open and honest and raw, which a lot of times these, these self-improvement seminars, they, they do that to you, um, which is great because then we could start with just a completely authentic foundation for our friendship, which then turned into our relationship. You know, and I think um, it goes for any journey, any journey of transformation, usually at your darkest point in your life is when you are the most ready to make a change in your life. And Chris and I both were in a really difficult point, I don't know. If you want to go into it but um, for me personally I was struggling with I was a single mom of two kids at the time and I was oh they're doing some repairs oh, yeah sorry guys <laughs> but anyway I was a single mom of two kids at the time and I had dealt with a pretty long battle with an eating disorder that um, I still hadn't totally captured and or, or totally conquered or overcome yet and I was really in a place where I wanted change, I wanted to grow, I wanted to become a better person, and so I wasn't there to find a man. I, in fact, it was completely the, op the opposite. I was there for myself. And I remember specifically walking in the seminar, day one, two, and three, and not wearing any any makeup at all, because I was like, I don't want to like... She's, <laughs> she's putting out the vibe. <laughs> the don't talk I, to me vibe. I even had on sweats. Do you remember that? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> All three days in this classroom with like 150 people, I had on like no makeup and sweats and I think I had a hat on one day because I was just in a zone. I had been through a rocky past few months, like really rocky, right Chris? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm laughing because it's just, it, it was so painful in my life that it's like, I think the best way for me to deal with it now is just to appreciate that I'm not there anymore and I'm past it. And um, I remember... I noticed Chris a couple times um, in the class, but we actually didn't talk until the second day. And his very first words to me were, are you ready for this? <laughs> I was in the lunchroom getting a probably chicken out of my Tupperware container in my cooler bag. And I was, because I packed my own lunch at the time, I wasn't like everybody else. I mean, I still do the same thing. And I picked up the chicken and this guy was like, what did you do to get those biceps? And I'm like, and it was oh, totally yeah. sincere. It was. He complimented no my joke. biceps. It was completely sincere. So immediately I wrote him off. <laughs> I did. Because I assumed he was just some like. It sounded cheesy, I know. It but was I cheesy. Was, but look at her biceps. Hold on. Flex. Oh, just come flex. on. Okay. I'm just See? joking. See? <laughs> I'm sorry, but who wouldn't ask that same darn question, right? Because I was like. Holy smokes, her biceps are phenomenal. I want biceps like that. What do you do to get those biceps? I was totally sincere. I, but at the time, I just because, I mean, I most guys that ask what you do to get your biceps are using some cheesy pickup sure. line. And he maybe, looked Maybe it was a little bit cheesy. <laughs> it was cheesy, but maybe it, really it was a little a bit of a line. Maybe it was a little bit of a pickup line. Just a little bit. You know, that was uh, the start of all of it. Two days later, at one of our other little sessions that we had, he and I got to talking, and I remember thinking, he was one of the most brilliant, incredible people and I'd ever met. And I knew then that I wanted him to always be a part of my life. Always. Thank you, babe. Yeah, you're welcome. And here we are. Six, Six years, years later. later. Two more kids, four total. <laughs> Powell Pack, out. And a lot of stories in between. <laughs> Hope that answers your questions. And there are so many more stories to tell that happened between then and now, which we'll save for another vlog. But if you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, do it now, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.